So I have two sewing mix to share with you. So I just came in from the store. I'm out of town and I was having a sweet tooth, so I stopped by Kroger. I picked up this non-dairy, what is this called? Maple pecan flavored ice cream. I've never had this before, so I thought I would try that out. They also had these gummy bears, but they say foamy, F-O-A-M-Y, foamy gummy bears. I'm like, what in the world is a foamy gummy bear? So I actually bought these out of curiosity. So hopefully they're good, we'll see. I'm going to have to eat this ice cream quick because I actually do not have a freezer in here. I have a refrigerator, but it doesn't have the freezer part. I didn't know that before I bought this. Anyway. All right, let's see what this little gummy candy is all about. I have a sweet tooth often. So I'm either baking something or picking up something sweet all of the time. I know that's not good. I haven't been in Tennessee that long. I flew through the night and then when I got off the plane, it was morning, so I feel like I really haven't slept. You know, I had a couple of hours sleep on the plane, but before I knew it, it was time to get up. They taste like Starburst, so they are sweet, but they're really good. So I'm just relaxing for the rest of the day. I will probably go to dinner later, but other than that, I'm not doing too much. So to come here on the airplane, I wore my camouflage pants which I shared in a video that I purchased from an army surplus store a while back so I bought a jacket the first time when I bought these pants and then I went back and I bought another jacket okay so I just pulled it out of my bag so it is wrinkled for sure and I probably will never wear these two together because I think it's just a lot but here is the jacket and I love it I love it so my first jacket was kind of gathered around the bottom it had a drawstring and a hood and it had a lot going on but this one is a little more simple and I just really love it so I just brought this you know so when it gets chilly at night or something I can wear this with some jeans or something like that so before I went to the grocery store I went to the Civil Rights Museum so if you're interested in seeing that footage I will put some clips and some pictures at the end of the video. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, this ice cream is good too. I don't think I'm going to be able to finish it though. Since I don't have a freezer. But it's pretty good. So I have two sewing makes to share with you. One is an older pattern. But I made a sweater dress. This is Simplicity 8738. I lengthened the collar by about five inches because I wanted it to be long. I also lengthened the hem. I did not hem the dress. I just left the hem raw like this and the sleeves were too long so I ended up shortening the sleeves just a little bit. This fabric is really really soft and I purchased this from Joanne Fabrics and this pattern is super easy. It's like putting together a t-shirt but just a really long t-shirt in a sweater knit fabric. Okay, so this is the dress and it's just really, really simple, but it's really nice and comfortable. And I can see this paired with some boots. I think that will be really cute. And this is the collar and how long it is. <laughs> I know that looks crazy, but I like that, you know, I can scrunch it down or I could like fold it over, which I probably would just wear it more scrunched than fold it over. But yeah, so this is a nice little quick and easy pattern for a little dress, sweater. Oh, and I made this before. I think I used a sweatshirt, no, a t-shirt type of material. So I did a little bit of sewing before I came. I was at home in my sewing room going through my scraps I pulled out some colors that kind of coordinated. So I pulled out a tweed fabric, a corduroy fabric, and a faux leather fabric. And then I went through my patterns to see what I could use for the bodice and what I could use for a skirt to make a dress. I used Simplicity 8610 for the skirt portion of the dress. And then I used McCall's 8281 for the bodice. So the dress has front pockets and then you know it has the v-neck in the front and it's sleeveless. 
so if I do wear this in the winter I'll definitely have to wear something under it or something over it but I enjoyed you know just using my scraps because I had plenty of them driving around and I spot this beauty supply store so I was like oh let me just go in there look around you know kill a little time I found this hat it was the only one in there so I tried it on fell in love got to the register five dollars five dollars I was like okay yes yes I will take it thank you very much and I feel like it was just meant to be meant to be I just landed in Memphis. I went to the hotel, dropped off my luggage, and now I'm walking around downtown and I'm headed to the Lorraine Hotel. So if you're not familiar, it is the National Civil Rights Museum and this is where Martin Luther King was killed. So I've been wanting to come here for a while and I'm actually getting the opportunity to do so. So here's the sign, Lorraine Hotel. I am just gonna follow the signs and figure this thing out. National Civil Rights Museum main entrance. Okay, so I'm gonna go this way. Interesting, the art on the buildings. Okay, so I'm getting close. I don't know if you have to pay to get in or not. So that is where Martin Luther King was killed. He was staying in room 306 with the wreath on it. Wow. They're standing in front of room 306, which is that room right up there. So before I go, I wanna leave you with a love share. I recently learned in some countries it's illegal for civilians to wear camouflage clothing. And some of the countries are actually like Nigeria, Jamaica, Barbados. Like what? I had no idea. So I thought that that was really, really interesting.